What's up Dream Chasers? What's up Ranch Gang? It's your boy Kim Van Voris checking in for another video for you guys today. I've got wheels, I've got tires. DJ, please do me a favor and hit that intro. Supercharged, 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 supercharged. Well, <clears throat> remember when I said I'm gonna keep the wide body stock? I fucking lied! I fucking lied. I lied. I'm an idiot. Look at what I have behind me. I know you can't see that, really. But you guys are gonna you guys are gonna shit your pants when you see the wide body. Now obviously, you know, it's not the bagged cat, okay? That's a great, that's a legend. That is one of the best chargers ever done, okay? Ever done. So it's not it's not there yet, but I'm I'm working on I'm working on making it just as good, if not better, if that's even possible. And I'm gonna show you guys here in a second. Also, didn't make videos for a few days. I was in Vegas. Went to go out there to go check out some other gyms. Also had to go see one of my favorite barbers in the entire world, Johnny Snips. So shout out to Mr. Johnny Snips. Appreciate you getting me in. Um, but I went to go check out other gyms. If you guys don't know, I'm a clothing company slash gym. Um, and it's always good to go see what other gyms are doing. Vegas seems to be exploding as far as growth with gyms and people just living there. So I took an opportunity to go out there, look at some new equipment for my gym. Because uh, one of the showrooms that we get from our manufacturers is in Vegas so I went out there I wanted to go see some new equipment that I'm gonna purchase for my gym because we can never have enough equipment and then just go around and see what other gyms are doing or not doing that maybe CA could do better or something like that so um, if you own a business here's a tip for you always go and check out what other people are doing not to copy them or something like that, but you could get ideas when you go in there. You could be like, ooh, I'm glad we're doing it this way versus that way. Or you might think of some things when you're in there to see that you got, you could improve your own business. So um, yeah, just a little tip for you. So we're gonna head to this discount tire right here. It's close to my house, which is nice. So we're gonna go get these tires mounted on these dope ass wheels. Ooh, wait till you guys see these things. All right, so before I show you guys the wheels and the tires on the car, which I'm heading over because Discount just put them on, uh, I got to give a huge shout out to two people. One is Bo Gentile with TG Motorsports. He sold me his rears uh, with tires. And then shout out to my brother. So he ordered me the brand new welts for the front, and they are 20 inches. Wait till you see these things. The lip on them is sick. So my brother started his own. Uh, online <clears throat> uh, parts business. So if you guys need anything, like can get your wheels or tires or anything really, uh, you can just hit him up on Instagram uh, at David Van Voorst. He can hit you guys up or you can check out his website. It's coyotedirect.com. So uh, he already hit up, he already fixed up one of my other buddies from Tennessee with some new welts for his white body charger, which they should be getting there probably in the next week or two. So if you guys need anything, go check out my brother's site. Um, so we're gonna go put these on and then we're gonna see what they look like. And I'm telling you, hardest red eye out. Don't at me. So we put the front wheels or we were putting them on and I need a three to five millimeter spacer. I went to AutoZone, these were 20 bucks. Then I went on my phone and got actual ones made for a Dodge Charger. That way, really, when you when you get these type of uh, spacers, you want to make sure you don't. You can use something like this. I wouldn't recommend it. I would make sure that the holes go actually over your lugs. Uh, that's what I would do. So these will work for right now for your wheel studs, not your lugs. Go over your wheel studs. So like the one I ordered has five holes, not. 10. These are universal, they'll work, um, but I ordered and they're like 40 bucks. So um, if you guys want the link, let me know in the comment below. They're five millimeters, so these are three point, these are three millimeters. The ones I got were five millimeters, well suggested three to five. So these are the only ones I could find, and then basically it'll be two millimeters wider, 
once we uh, get the other ones on. So, and those will take like a week to get it here. But I'm trying to get these on so I can see what this bad boy looks like finally. All right, guys, so there it is. So, uh, my brother specced out these wheels. These are 20 by 10 in the front. Uh, we did have to put a spacer on it. If you get the 20 by nines, you don't have to. Um, so, we gotta kinda figure out the stance here a little bit. <clears throat> so, cause this is pushing this out a little bit, actually a lot of bit. So, I'm not sure what we're gonna do on the inside so we can make sure that's nice and flush and then Probably the same thing on the back, as you guys can see. But it looks it looks insane. So there's a little, I don't know what we're going to do on the back here. So maybe trim it a little bit. You can't roll it because it's not metal. Obviously, these are plastic fenders. So, um, but I think it looks, I was, to be honest with you guys, I was going to do satin black barrels and then wherever you see chrome was gonna be satin black and leave the faces gloss black but i saw someone do it online and i just i thought it looked cheap i thought it made the welds look cheap so this is what it looks like though so you guys gotta let me know what you think um in the rear <clears throat> the tire is a uh, I think it's a 305, no, 315, 50, 17. Um, usually I run a 275, uh, 60, 15, but uh, this is what Bo had on his car, and for the wide bodies, it fits better, to be honest with you guys. So no space from the back. Um, again, these are used, but, you know, Bo takes care of his stuff, so they look brand, brand new. And then I got the front wheels for my brother. So he can get you guys... Obviously, my brother does Mustang stuff, but if you need stuff for your Camaro or your Mustang or your Challenger Charger, you can just set up. But that's where we're at right now. Looks pretty insane. So you guys are going to let me know what you think. But I don't know of any wide body chargers that are this hard right now. And we're not even done. Sadly, I'm, we're not even done yet. So I'll do a separate video on the bags since I'm going to put this out first. Because I already posted on my Instagram. If you guys want to follow me at Kelly Boy Kev. Um, but I'll do a separate video on the bags. We have an issue which I've never had before. So I'm going to go over that with you guys. <clears throat> which is a good learning experience. And then that's about it. So black badges. All the stuff's tinted out. Obviously the windshield's tinted. Um, but I think the chrome looks good. I think it sets it off nicely. So... Um, if you guys know me, you know I'm going to wrap the car, but it's going to be black. It's not going to be all uh, crazy colorful like my last charger because I don't do the same thing twice. So, uh, And then we just coated it, so the paint looks super nice. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That's me for today's video. The hardest charger you've ever seen. I'm out of this bitch.